the RMA for the top 40 song of the year goes to? Right there, you know, my stomach just is like... <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go, and they're like... Hey, lady! Boulay, you goose, say y'all that quoi! We didn't win. Ouch. Big surprise. <laughs> Big surprise. Their face made me think that we won because they looked at the car to win like they were surprised. See, now, for me, to see a surprise would not be to see Lady Marmalade. <laughs> I expect you to win. I, I did. I expect you to win. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you. I'm going to lie to myself. I expect you to win. Yeah, that sucks. We never expected to win. I Let's uh, head for the hotel. Maybe it's just really, really wishful thinking, but I think that all or nothing was good enough. It's always nice to, to win, but I mean, when you realize how many records have come out this year, when you realize that it's more than thousands, I don't know the exact number, and then when you narrow it down to five, for all or nothing to have been nominated is spectacular. I mean, it's not just good. What tonight should represent is much more the celebration of seeing that tangible recognition that a record that you guys made was nominated for the best record uh, of the year. I said, I, you know, that, that's it. So over and out on that subject is not even remotely worth uh, dwelling on. <laughs> The show still has a lot of tightening up to do. We just got to get everybody back on the same page out of Las Vegas and back into the mindset that we have to put on a show in a couple days in front of 20,000 people. We just have to be tight because it's going to be raw up there. I just hope it's not a mess. Love it when you take me down, down under your spell. All right, take me under. Basically, first verse, just keep it a little more calm, a little more clean. You guys got to get your chemistry together. Get down there. Get down there a little cleaner. Every time we need to make a formation change, push it back as far away from this edge as you can, because you guys get all clumped up. Thank you. Thank you. Every time, every time, it's got to be like that. We did clean choreography and put some new stuff in, but in my head, it by no means was enough. We weren't perfect going out. There were still some mistakes and glitches, which are fine, but I just, I like being as good as possible. I'm anxious. I'm really anxious, and I just want to, I want to get up there. I'm here. Where's Brittany? Right before I walk into the arena where Brittany's stage is, I'm thinking to myself, oh gosh, here we go. I'm going to see the stage. I'm not going to like it. Look, what's Late. up, dude? What's up, seats? Seats are what's up. <laughs> Everywhere I turn, it's another seat. But I walk in and it's all good, you know? I mean, her stage is really, really big, but We've been given more than ample room to do what we do. I don't even want to know what Trevor's going through in his mind. Finally, the time has come. I'm going to be, oh, God, I'm going to be Britney Spears right now. What's up, guys? Hello. Hey. hey. This is Britney Spears. You guys may have heard of her. Yes. I wanted to come in here and meet you guys. I've heard of you a couple times. Trevor. I'm Trevor. It's nice to meet you, Trevor. Nice to meet you. I like Britney for like five reasons, okay? Four, she fine. And five, she's hot. Hey, honestly though, <laughs> great fine. Oh, you are so sweet. She's been wanting to say that for so long. You are so sweet. I, I, I finally got off my chest. Sorry, every guy who lived vicariously through me, I chumped out, just shook her hand, told her she was fine. I'm out. Sorry. <laughs> 
He said a fan of the U.S. Games way before they were on tour. Oh, no. Did you tell him about the Big Rob? Oh, no, I didn't tell him about the Big Rob incident. Oh, what? Don't tell him. Tell me. Do not tell him the Big Rob story. Do not tell him the Big Rob story. Good, tell him. It's a long time ago. I went out to dinner with these guys. And Trevor was telling me what a big fan of yours he was. And he's telling me, please give me your cell phone number, give me your cell phone number, give me your cell phone number. So what I did was I gave him my cell phone number without telling him. He walks outside on his cell phone, he dials the number, my phone rings, and he goes, hi, this is Trevor from Motown. He called! <laughs> he goes, this is Trevor from Motown. Oh, it gets much better. Uh, can I speak to Brittany? <laughs> and then I handed it to a girl who was at the table who says, hi, this is Brittany. So I go, I go, yeah, this is, um, this is Trevor from Motown, and she said, y'all really suck. <laughs> and I said, and you thought I said look, that? The look on his face, he goes, what? I was like, um, okay, and you're like, why are you bothering me? And I was like, well, Larry, you know, Larry told me that I could call and yeah. talk to you, and you're like, well, actually, I'm on vacation in Hawaii right now with my boyfriend. Who is this girl? How rude is she? He finally sees us through the window, and we're on the floor laughing. Oh. And he realized, he realized what was going on. He's almost in tears. Oh, I'm not like that anymore. Thanks, guys, for telling me to tell the Big Rob story. I thought that I composed myself well, and that I was calm and collected, and everything worked out great. Oh, I can't believe you Yeah, Big Rob, you did blush a lot. You did blush. I did think I was in seventh grade. Please, the J record the corner. We got on the stage and I'm standing there looking around and I thought it was going to be a little more overwhelming than it was. Hey Jacob, you keep playing, we want to dance. But 20,000 straight up, you can't see anything past the floor, so it's a lot easier dealing with that many people when you can't see them. <laughs> I'm kicking ass. I look over at Eric, and Eric's kicking ass. Look over at Trevor, how, how's Trevor doing? He's kicking ass. Look over at Dan, Dan's up hyping the crowd like he does. Dan's kicking ass. Look over at Jacob, I know Jacob's kicking ass. I don't even gotta look at Jacob. O-Town's up, kicking ass. This season, I'm making the band. Tonight, I completely lost my ears. For yeah, exactly. Like so oh that's what caused you to forget the words? You have chronically messed up timing. You can't focus. What would your mom say is her least favorite of your fashion statements? I used to rock those goggles. Oh, no! no. <laughs> These red goggles. Ah! Welcome to the Kiss of Fems with a drink date with O'Town. It's everywhere! I can't believe I'm seeing this happen. Right hand yellow. You guys to go down and judge and pick one winner. Stop. My bad. It's complete role reversal because now I'm the judge. That's us. Sophomore Jinx. I hope we're gonna have a good second album. Now I know. Everyone was rationalizing about like why Trevor didn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> I had a good time. I did too. Janie's my girlfriend. Yeah. I can't live my life and be on the road without her. Go, 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 go. It's The Hookup, Saturday nights on MTV. Hooking you up with music by your favorite artists like O-Town. Make a date every Saturday with MTV.